Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to take a look at creating these realistic looking explosions in Photoshop. So, let's get started. I actually have this photo right here. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to name the layer Base Layer. Now, I'm going to zoom in one just so I can see what I'm doing. Get rid of those. Uh, rid of my panels so I can really get a good look at what I'm doing here. And I'm going to use my lasso tool. I'm going to make sure that the feather is set to about 15. By the way, I'm getting all my palettes to come and go like that, just by hitting the tab key. And I'm just going to draw sort of like a big sort of, you know, explosion shape, whatever that is. Very loosely defined term. So we're going to go render clouds. We're going to fill that out with clouds. And now I'm going to hit tab to bring, well actually not tab, just F7, because that just brings your uh, layers palette back. I'm going to hit Command or Control J twice. I'm going to shut off the top layer. I'm going to select this one in the center. I'm going to go Control T, right click, skew. And I'm going to pull it over this way, just like that. And then I'm going to flip it horizontal. And what I'm going to do with it is drag it right over to here, just like that. Now guy on top. I'm going to do the same exact thing, just basically the opposite. I'm going to skew it. Whoops. Wrong layer. Select the wrong layer. Make sure you're on the right layer. And Command or Control T. Right click. Skew. Pull it over. Flip horizontal. And drag it right over. Like that. And now we're starting to get kind of the basic shape of our explosion. Alright, we're going to set these top two layers to overlay. Like that. We're going to shut those two layers off, and now we're just working on the base layer. What we're going to do is change, whoops, what did I just do? Edit, undo desaturate. Well, it is already desaturated. I want to hit Control U, not Control Shift U, just Control U, and that will bring up the hue saturation dialog. And we want to colorize this, and we want to make it a nice fiery orange red color. That looks pretty good. Like that. Let me darken it a little bit. Hit OK, open the levels, and let's just increase the white we see in there. Like that, without quite making it so yellow. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now let's turn our other layers back on. Okay, those are starting to really take effect and make this start looking like an explosion with stuff racing out of it. So the next step is colorizing both of these layers. You can actually see, let me just right click on this and hit large thumbnails. You can see that this is colorized, but these are still black and white. So if I hit Control Alt U, that brings up the hue saturation dialog box with the same options that I just used. So I'm actually gonna desaturate this a little bit, make it a little darker maybe. Maybe not quite so, so red. A little darker though. And I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this, Control Alt U. Bring that same thing up. Wow, this one's got a lot of red over there. I don't want to introduce green. Okay, that looks pretty good. Like that, hit OK. Maybe this guy could stand to be lightened up a little bit. Yeah. Hit OK. Okay, so we've got our explosion coming along pretty nicely. Next thing we have to do is uh, these skewed edges are you know sort of overlaying with the photo, not quite looking fully like an explosion. So what we want to do is just, well this one is over here on this side, so I'm just gonna kinda grab as roughly, or as, as best as I can, make a rough selection, just selecting the area that's not overlapping the explosion. And I'm just gonna duplicate that up onto another layer. So there you can see we duplicate the effect on the edge. I'm gonna do the same thing up with this with this part of the explosion. Miss that area there. And duplicate him up. So now we're really getting that nice explosion look. It's really starting to look really sharp. Next, let's try uh, creating a layer for a little bit of burning. So we're just going to name this layer Burn. Hit B to grab the brush tool. And we have a brush, which I know I don't want. So I'm going to hit tab to bring everything back, and I'm going to open up my brushes panel, and I'm going to choose basic brushes. Hit OK. Grab this big 60 pixel hard edge brush, and soften it up a little bit. That looks like it'll work just fine. 
reduce the flow down to about 20 ish and uh, let's uh, come in here and just put a couple dark spots in here where where we think we should see some dark stuff certainly along the base of the explosion you're going to see some dark stuff and then just set this layer to oops not soft light but overlay and it's really not doing what I wanted to do let's try multiply and let's just reduce the opacity a bit whoops down to about 31 and it, yeah, we're getting a little bit more darkening. Doesn't quite look like I want it to, but we're not going to be too, too fussy with it. Next, we're going to come down to the bottom here and uh, create a new layer below by holding the control key and clicking the new layer icon. And we're going to grab the oval tool, or the elliptical marquee tool, and draw a long, thin, flat oval. Just like that. Basically right where the explosion will be happening. And we're going to fill that guy with black. Just like that. You know what? I'm going to bring it up on top like that. And I'm just going to set that to overlay. Maybe soft light should, would be better for that. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to blur it a little bit. So I'm going to go filter blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to give it about a 3.5 pixel blur. Hit OK. And that looks pretty good so far. I do, however, want to reduce the opacity a little bit. Maybe jack it up to overlay and just reduce that opacity. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we sort of have a shadow happening there in the ground. And uh, now all we need to do is group the whole thing up, select all those layers, layer, uh, group layers. And I want to duplicate this group by placing it on top. You can see what we're, we're getting. And then switch it to, let's try soft light, let's try overlay. I don't quite like either of them. Hard light, I'm not really liking that. Um, you know what needs to happen? It needs to be desaturated a little bit. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this group. And I am going to create a new layer that I'm going to mask or clip to this base layer. So I'm going to hold Alt and click the new layer button. I'm going to say use previous layer to create clipping mask. And I'm going to fill this entire layer with 50% gray. Just like that. And now I'm going to say color. And now I'm just going to reduce the opacity quite a bit. Like that. So we're just sucking some of the color out of that bottom layer. Now I'm going to grab that group, duplicate the group, and maybe set it to overlay now. Still not quite like I want it. Say well, color burn, definitely not what I'm thinking. And uh, well, let's just go with soft light. You can see there's before, there's after. So soft light really starts pulling the color out. Select both of these groups and group them together. Control G. And just name it. Explosion. And what we can do now is um, we duplicate this group, actually. We're going to duplicate the group and just drag this one down to the bottom and shut it off just to be protected so we maintain all the level or all the layer integrity. We could actually also use a brush and create some of those like sort of flying sparks and sparkles coming out of this, but I'm not going to go over that in this one. We can take this group, right click, and just say merge group. So now we just have our explosion. You can see what merging the group does. It really makes the thing start to, uh, you know, appear like a really good explosion. So what we want to do now is um, control T, size this guy down. Maybe set him out here in the field. Maybe make him a little bit taller. Looks like he should be a little taller. And just like that, there you go. We have just created a realistic looking explosion in Photoshop. See, there's before, there's after. So that's it. You can tweak it. You can play around with it. You can mess with it. Um, you know, sometimes you get better results. Sometimes you get worse results. But, you know, it all depends on, you know, the shape you draw and the clouds you get and everything else. So have fun with it. I hope you learned something. Please go check out the website. It's www.tutvid.com. Thanks for watching.